All right, um, this is, a, I'm going to try to keep this a, a very short video uh, on page seven in your booklets um, or wherever you find this heading, I guess. Uh, make sure you have some of these things written down, right? So uh, what are some of the pros and cons of buying a new vehicle as opposed to a used one, right? So I'm already, I have this written out already, so I'm just going to Go ahead and show you one line at a time and just talk about it so you can copy this and just write down some of the things that I'm going to be mentioning. So new vehicles come with warranty, right? So when it, this could be a pro and if it says explain, right, you say that new vehicles come with warranty so major repairs are covered. So in engine problems, transmission, like anything electrical, anything that shouldn't be wrong, right? Obviously, they will cover it. Uh, customization. I talked about this a little bit maybe in class, but you can build it exactly how you want it, right? When you buy new, <clears throat> you can ask for everything exactly the way you want it, obviously at a premium. So you can customize it. You can build it to order, basically. All right. Uh, another good thing is that if it's a brand new car, obviously you would say there are no hidden damages. Um, and the reason, right, like comparing that to a used vehicle, unlike a used vehicle, you don't have to worry about damages that may have occurred due to accidents, right? And somebody tried to cover those up, which we're going to talk about when it's a used, when we're buying used vehicles. You have to be very careful with that. It is safer compared to a used vehicle, okay? And the reasoning here, and obviously you can always use your own words as long as you're trying to, as long as you hit these topics and the concepts, right? New cars are equipped with the latest safety features and they meet the latest standards, right? Standards are constantly being updated, right? Like the minimum required for airbags now is a lot greater than in the past, right? So air, airbags, lane departure assist, right? Some cars even have rain sensing wipers. Um, all of these things. Um, some of some cars will even engage the brake when you're too close. Like it will react faster than we can react. So automated safety features that can be added there as well. Okay, new cars are more fuel efficient. No surprises there. Right, because they have to meet, manufacturers have to meet the latest emission standards, right? Uh, you could also say the, the introduction of the electric vehicles, right? Make it, or hybrid vehicles, right? Make them more fuel efficient and that would be uh, a new vehicle for sure. Um, and so they also, manufacturers also kind of follow the demand for low fuel consuming cars, right? That's a big push. People don't want to spend as much on fuel. so. These are like the major ones. <clears throat> Obviously, there could be other ones, right? Oh, I have one more here. Usually, you get better finance rates. So for loans, you get lower interest rates. However, you're also paying more for the car, right? But uh, that's still an advantage to have that lower interest rate. Cons, right? Higher depreciation costs. You lose a lot of a uh, lot more money in depreciation, right? You lose that money because you're going to have to pay it in full to the bank or the dealer, but that money will be lost as time goes by. And since cars lose 40% of their value within the first five years, okay? Uh, it's more expensive to insure a new vehicle, right? Why is that? Since the replacement value is higher. Right? It will cost more to insure a new car. Some cars are so expensive, the new ones, that you need to buy additional insurance to cover the full cost of replacing. Because AutoPack only covers up to, I believe, 50000 You pay for freight and PDI, pre-delivery inspection. All new vehicles need to pay this fee. Uh, of course, some dealers may choose to not disclose that. Okay, but it's in the price of the car. All You pay air and tire tax, right? Used vehicles, you don't need to do that, but for the brand new ones, you do have to pay that, so that's a con. And uh, I added another one, right? 
uh, when when you're buying a brand new vehicle and you do get those additional features, the customization part, yes, it's a pro that you can do that, but you pay more for these options compared to a used vehicle. A lot of times a used vehicle uh, comes with a bunch of options that do not necessarily cost you a whole lot more if you were to line them all up and, and mention, so, oh, I'm getting this and this and this with the car. It's kind of like just in the price. And so it's not, you don't pay as much for it. This is it, page seven, fill this in. Uh, I will ask this from time to time and you should know it.